of Boxing World, JF Sports. So we got Nonito Donaire versus Cesar Juarez. They're going to be fighting in Puerto Rico uh, this coming Friday. Uh, that's going to be the 11th of December. Like I said, uh, it's going to be in Puerto Rico. Anyway, this is going to be for the WBO Bantamweight vacant title, which um, was originally owned by Rigondo, so to speak, and he got stripped off of it, and you guys know why, because of his inactivity, so to speak, and on Rigondo's uh, side, they said that nobody want to fight him, but that's another story. But this is, to me, like I said, this is just my quick prediction. I think no need to an air should win this fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's a big favor to win the fight against Cesar Juarez, even though Cesar Juarez, he's a young dude, you know, he's about almost 10 years younger than Nonito Donaire. You know what I mean? Nonito Donaire is about, what, 33 years old, something like that, 30, 34, and Juarez is about 24 years old, and um, Puerto Rican, obviously, and he's going, he's rec his current record is 17 wins, I believe, with 13 KOs, no losses. Nonito Donaire, as you guys know, he's won his last two fights, um, after he got knocked out by Walters and also lost to Regan now. So I, I think that this is a, you know, it should be an easy fight, I would say, for Nito Air to win and get back his title. And I would love to see a rematch against Regan now. You know, I've been saying that before. Um, against Walters, not necessarily. He got knocked out by Walters pretty easy. So I don't see Walters giving him a rematch. But if it does, hey, I'll watch it, right? So, my prediction on this is Nonito Donaire knocks out Cesar Juarez. No more than six rounds. Six rounds or less. I think it's going to be a knockout fight. I think it's going to be an early night. And like I said, this is a fairly, I should say, fairly easy fight for Nonito Donaire. I don't see uh, Cesar Juarez beating Nonito Donaire at all. And if he does, because any, like oh, we all know, uh, anything can happen in boxing. And if uh, Cesar Juarez does beat Nonito Donaire, Hey, I, I wouldn't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? It, it's going to be unexpected. And um, like I said, I think Nuito Donaire is favored to win the fight. And he should be, you know, given the fact of his resume. Even though he's got three losses under his belt. And Cesar Juarez, eh, not really a known guy, but he's never lost before. You know, he's, like I said, he's got 17 fights and 13 KOs. Um, I wouldn't, you know, like advise Nuito Donaire if I was one of his crew to like you know underestimate him or over, be overconfident and overlook him you know anybody <laughs> anybody can knock out anybody right so I mean I, I'd be comfortable though you know I wouldn't worry so much you know if that makes sense but um, I got Nito Nair winning the fight six rounds or less via knockout against the Sahara. it's gonna be in Puerto Rico again I think they're gonna be televising it on uh, True TV so you guys stay tuned for that um, and as soon as I get the link you know, after the fight, I'll give you guys the link to the full fight video, as I always do in my channel. So, you guys, please subscribe. And always, uh, thank you for watching. Again, I get, uh, I got the Nonito Don Air to win the fight uh, against Asol Juarez. I think it's going to be a, a, a decent fight, but not necessarily one of those, um, you know, sensational fight. But this, uh, like I said, uh, I think this is a very good fight and almost a gift. You know what I'm saying? To me, in my own opinion, it's almost a gift to Nito Donaire to give to give back his title. You know, someone's watching out for him. So, um, I hope he wins and and um, and doesn't get caught. <laughs> if he does get caught, then he goes back to the drawing board, right? This is his chance to get back his title. So, yeah, Nito Donaire be a knockout six rounds or less. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribe to JF Sports.